Hi guys, welcome back to the Pride of Bidder. Today we're going to do uh, the predictions for round six of the Premier League. So just stay tuned, get a cup of tea, and we'll just get right into the video. <laughs> start the predictions, we just want to talk about Aston Villa for a moment. Um, last game against Leicester, I did say 3-2 to Villa, but it turned out to be a clean sheet for a 1-0 win for Villa. Uh... I can't believe it actually happened at the end. It was amazing coming from Ross Barkley. Obviously, he had that knee injury. But looking at the game, it could have gone both ways. But I'm just so happy that we got the win. Two clean sheets away from home. Two wins away from home. Um, only conceded two goals lately in this season. So it, everything's look, really looking good for us right now. I can't see relegation anywhere. I can't even see us being near that. So I just hope we push really high top 10. Um, Europa, like you can't you can't call me stupid for saying Europa now because if we keep this run going, um, we could be like Sheffield United last season and just about get Europa. So I just hope we do it. So just get into this video on Friday the twenty third of October. Aston Villa will go against Leeds, and obviously a lot of information's come out on Leeds. Calvin Phillips is not going to be playing due to an injury. So obviously that's a one up for us. Um, if he was playing, I still feel really confident that we win um, with the team we have, and especially playing at home. Last time we played at home was a seven two win against Liverpool. So you know, um, my prediction for this is a two nil win for Villa. I feel like it will be a hard first half, but next half we will just like really uh, gel into the game. And uh, a goal will come from Watkins and probably Grealish. I feel like Watkins just loves a goal at Aston Villa right now. I know all the, the new arrivals are loving Villa. It's just it's amazing to see. Like, every signing that we've just got, they're just doing everything just right. Matty Cash, Martinez, Ross Barkley. I just hope Ross Barkley uh, stays with us after because I do feel like he should. You know, you know, he knows full well if he does, he will get game time. And he doesn't really get that with Chelsea, so it's just a one-up, really, if you think about it. So, yeah, I'm saying 2-0 to Aston Villa against Leeds. So, on Saturday, the 24th of October, we start the day off. West Ham against Man City at half 12. And fair play to West Ham last game against Tottenham with that um, draw at the end, 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if you ask me, I feel like it should have been a win to Tottenham, 3-2. I feel, I feel like that... Mistake from Tottenham, uh, that headed goal into their own goal was just... I don't, I don't know what he was thinking, that defender, but yeah, I don't really know. But I'm obviously going to go through a win for Man City. I feel like West Ham will get a goal in this, so I'm going to say 3-1 Man City. Uh, Man City will be in there for the taking, obviously, but yeah, I can't see West Ham winning this. So this has to be where they start losing their games, I guess, because obviously West Ham are on the top 10 side. They could be the way they've been playing, but I can't see it happening this season. They're, they're showing they can, but I just can't see it. So next game at 3 o'clock will be Fulham against Crystal Palace. And the only team going into this is Crystal Palace um, on form. Fulham, they've literally only just got one point against Sheffield United, which is just... I'm sorry, but if anyone's got any hope, Fulham's staying up the dream. I know I'm, I'm not trying to uh, offend anyone right now, but I just I don't see them staying up. Like... There's, if they can't get a win against or a draw against like us or anyone else like in the lower table, obviously we've been really good this season. But um, just talking how it is, we are most likely a bottom ten side in the Premier League. But they should be getting draws or wins against uh, teams like us. But obviously we are on form, so. It's just really sad to see Fulham just come up in the Premier League and just really bottle it straight away. Like, only one point in five, six games. It's, it ain't on. But, obviously, I'm going to go for a win to Crystal Palace. I'm going to say 2-0. Um, yeah, I feel Wilfred Zaha will just come out on this and he'll just get the two goals and that'll be the game. So, next game will be Man United against Chelsea, which is at half five and... Um, Man United obviously had that 4-1 win away to Newcastle and Chelsea I'm not too sure who they were against last I think it was Southampton with that 3-3 but I'm going to have to give this to Chelsea, I feel like they'll come to Man United really strong 
Um, I'm not saying a 6-1 win away again like Tottenham, but I feel like it will be a 2-1, maybe a 3-1. So yeah, I'm going to stick to a 3-1 win to Chelsea. So next game, which will be at 8 o'clock, is Liverpool against Sheffield United. And straight away, I'm just going to say Liverpool's going to win this. Um, everyone was saying after we thrashed them 7-2 that it, it's just a one-off, and I agree with it. That's just not going to happen again to the likes of Liverpool. Um, I can't see... If they do lose, it, it won't be as drastic as that. But, yeah, obviously, with this game, we're just going to say Liverpool to win. I'm going to say 3-0, three, three because Sheffield United can't seem to get a goal away from their home, or even at their home. Obviously, they did get a goal away um, at Arsenal, but I can't really see any goals coming from Sheffield United. I just don't know what's happened to them this season. But I'm just going to have to go with a 3-0 win to Liverpool. So on Sunday the 25th of October, we'll start the day off with Southampton against Everton at 2 o'clock. And basically, it would be it would be really good for Southampton to win. So we can uh, stay on the top of the table for a bit. If we Obviously, if we're going to beat Leeds, I know we're going to beat Leeds. Um, no disrespect to Leeds, but I feel like it is destined for us to win. So, you know. But yeah... I want Southampton to win, but I just feel like Everton's just about going to edge it. I feel like they're on form this season. Respect to him, uh, Angelotti, with what he's done with the team. Um, great manager, I can't lie. He's just an amazing manager, but if I have to give a score for this, I'd say... I'm going to say 2-1 away from home. It's not going to be an easy game, but they just want to keep getting those points so we don't go to the top of the table. Once we're at the top of the table, it's just... It's going to be amazing, but... Yeah, I'm going to say 2-1 to, South, uh, to Everton. Southampton, obviously, Dan Danny Ings will score. He always loves to score at Southampton. And, yeah, that's all I can say about that one. So, a half four, Wolves go against Newcastle. And, to be honest, I don't really know what's going on with both of these teams. They just don't seem to be doing anything. Obviously, Wolves did get that win against Leeds. But, Leeds, you got to remember, they've only just come out of the Championship. So, it's just, it is a win anyway. Even though they're, they're really good, but you know what I mean? But, yeah, I, I'm going to say a draw for this. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 2-2, two because -two, they both seem to be conceding that as well. At quarter past seven, Arsenal will be against Leicester, and this is a game I actually want to watch. Um, Leicester, obviously, they're missing the likes of Vardy because of an injury, and uh, Madison is just... I think he's injured as well. He only came on for about 20 minutes against us. But once you lose them two players... The team's not really a good team, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like if we lost Grealish, we wouldn't really know what to do. Right now, we'd probably be alright because of Ross Barkley, Martinez and, all, Martinez and all these other players. But yeah, once they lose them two players, it's, it, it's a bit of a struggle. So I feel like Arsenal would just do this with who they've got. Thomas Partey, a uh, personal favourite of mine. Um I didn't. I don't think he did that much against Man City, but still, I feel like he's an exceptional player. But I'm gonna say three one to Arsenal. They they are gonna get the win against Leicester once and for all. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be sort of an easy win for them. So on Monday, the twenty sixth of October, Brighton go against West Brom at half five, and this is where Brighton. Uh, sorry, this is where West Brom really need to pick up points. Obviously, they got that point against Burnley. Um, Burnley, another team that just really needs to pick up points because I don't, to be honest, I don't want to see them go down. They're one of the teams I really don't want to see go down. And neither with West Brom, whether you like it or not, even though I've put them in my predictions to go down, I don't actually want to see them go down because it's always good to have a bit of rivalry in the league you're in. Obviously, when we're in the Championship, it was against Blues and it's just amazing. But yeah, I want to see West Brom stay up. Brighton, they seem to be doing okay. Obviously, they've had some great wins and some had some he really weird losses this season so far. But if I had to give this a score, I'd have to say... I feel like West Brom really want to go for this one because it's bright. And we went for it last time, 1-2-0 at our home. But I'm going to say 3-3. Three, three. I feel like they're both sort of the same in a way with how they are. Obviously, because they're, they're both in the bottom 10 as well. So they're obviously going to want to get those points. But yeah, I'm going to have to say a draw because I'm, I'm not too sure. So I'll say 3-3 for that one. 
So at 8 o'clock, Burnley go against Tottenham at the end of this round and Burnley are just really disappointing me to be honest because they, they've only got one point and last season they were 8th or so I think and they did really good but it does show if you don't spend money in the transfer windows this is what happens even though I was saying they should get really high because if you don't sell anyone or get anyone in the team sort of gels even more and they know each other obviously before the season started so yeah it's just really disappointing to see obviously I feel like Tottenham's going to win this I'm going to have to say 3-1 away Son, Bale, uh, Harry Kane they're all just amazing players for Tottenham and right now I'm actually thinking they might win the league and I know I shouldn't really say that but I don't know I feel like there's something with Tottenham this season but hopefully someone can get over them, maybe Villa if we keep that going. We need to keep our wins coming because we need to like, really show everyone who we are. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video guys. I hope you liked it. Um, as you can see, I'm actually really happy because as a Villa fan, you're not expecting to win every game you've been in so far, but it's really nice to get a win against Liverpool and then just keep it going against Leicester so people know it wasn't a one-off. So I hope you liked the video guys. Um, I might not be able to do the live reaction again because, to be honest, I just like to watch the games. It takes a lot of editing and that. And I just want to enjoy uh, the run we're on right now. And yeah, Ben's definitely going to keep doing the, the reaction after the game. So really uh, look forward to that as well. And yeah, up the villa with the pride of villa.